what better way to start your day than with a message on Facebook saying your pickup time is at 8.45 from the snorkeling company that you booked with yesterday. <laughs> yes. Good morning, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today it is this January 6th, January 5th, January 5th. And I am currently in Phuket, so I haven't filmed since I got to Phuket just because I really honestly haven't done very much at all. Aside from release and launch my first ebook ever, so that's what I mainly came here to do. I just kind of wanted to like get away from madness. And I know if you've been to Phuket before, you're probably thinking Phuket is madness. <clears throat> I came to Rawai Beach and Naihar Beach, so it's kind of like a area where most retired people go to I would say like I don't want to offend anyone out there saying that they're old or anything but there is a lot of uh, a bigger older crowd over here so it's a really chill slow paced place it's definitely still very touristy but it's just really slow paced so I've been able to find some really good cafes to just sit down focus and get the ebook done be by myself get into some meditation continue my yoga practice and it's just been a while since I've been by myself after you know being in Bali with Nabil and then being in Bangkok with Varissa I felt like I was living very outwardly so coming here to Phuket was gonna like my time to come back into myself and just reconnect and deepen that connection with myself once again just because when you do no matter how much meditation you do when you're surrounded by people constantly you just become very outward yeah you just live very outwardly so um coming back here has definitely allowed me to focus on my meditation focus on my self-study and uh, self-observing and I've definitely learned a lot of things that I about myself that I need to continue working on which is fine that's what this life is about you know nobody's perfect and we all have things to work on and I think the first step and most important part is just coming to the realization that something needs to work be worked on and need to be changed and to apply those changes and get working on it so so far my time in Phuket has been amazing just because I've been just with myself I've been chilling I've been just walking around walking everywhere um, I went to the beach yesterday morning, so that's about all that I've done that's considered touristy. Other than that, it's been just like work and meditating and yoga. So um, I feel great. I have my ebook done. I don't have any work to do today. So to keep that balance and continue practicing what I preach, I am going snorkeling for the day today, which I'm super excited because I get to go to one of like the nearby islands, which I looked up and it's stunning. Um, so we're going to be doing that today. Obviously, you're not coming in the water with me because I don't have a waterproof camera, not a waterproof phone. But I will definitely try to get a lot of footage of the day just so you can kind of get an idea of what these islands in Thailand look like. And we'll see how the day goes. Catch you guys Towel. later. Towel. Clothes. Food because it's not, breakfast is not included. I haven't eaten it yet. So I have some oatmeal with peanut butter some almonds and then I have some tofu and zucchini stir fry in there. I'll show you guys later. And my guru's book. That's what I've been reading for right now. It's not really like a story or a narrative, I guess. It's just more so his teachings over time that were compiled by one of his disciples, one of his closest disciples. So just been reading that and that's what's happening right now. I need to get ready because we're coming in like three minutes. <laughs>
have found the first island. So right now we're at Racha Island and it's definitely not the sunniest day but it definitely does not take away from the beauty of this place because the sand is so white, the water is so blue and right now we're just chilling out. They're giving us some time to just relax, kind of venture out on the island even though there's really not that much to see from what I see anyways. I haven't really done that much walking but um, after this we're gonna do the snorkeling. So for now I'm just gonna chill out, read a little bit and then I'll catch you guys later. We're currently at the second island and what I believe to be our second, our last stop. It's Coral Island and we're just making a stop here for lunch and probably just the rest of the afternoon is going to be spent here just chilling out, not doing too much, which is kind of like the goal for this little day trip that I took, little tourist day trip, is just to relax, chill out after working like four days straight, literally like from morning to night. I'm definitely ready to just like lay on the beach, lounge, do some reading and just relax. So that's one of the plan for the rest of the afternoon. By the way, snorkeling was beautiful. And of course, once does not simply forget the coconut. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself in an extremely touristy place? By accident. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think it was gonna be this busy. Oh, I'm bleeding. It's okay. Um, it's really busy at the island where I'm at, so I just found this little hideout spot. Walked like all the way from over there, and now we're here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna chill here before we have to go, kind of take this amazing view in because you know, no matter how chaotic and busy it is, it's always really easy to come back to your own inner peace. So you just Take a few deep breaths, connect with yourself, and no matter how chaotic the outside world is, you can still enjoy that stillness and that peace within. So that's pretty much what I did as I walked and what I'm gonna do as I'm here, just kind of focus on myself, do me, because there's so much going on out there right now. Um, and just enjoy the beauty here in Thailand because it definitely is a really beautiful country and its islands are just stunning. Well, what I've seen of them, obviously I haven't seen very much of it because I'm not here for long and I didn't choose to just go like island hopping because I just didn't feel like it to be honest. I just kind of wanted to chill. So that's what I'm doing on this rock right now. <laughs> And we are finishing the afternoon with a nice little fruit treat. I literally just dropped the watermelon. <laughs> watermelon down. My bad. Uh, and some tea as well. It is currently the next day, yesterday after the snorkeling I just kind of got back to my apartment, chilled out a little bit, did a little bit of work and then went for a Thai massage because it is my, it was my last night in Thailand pretty much. So tonight I'm going to be traveling pretty much all night. I have the full day here in Phuket so I'm going to be exploring around Phuket since I haven't seen any of it at all since I was like a 45 minute drive since like Naihan is really far away from Phuket and that was kind of my goal. I wanted to be away from the madness. But since I have this extra day, I do want to see some of Phuket because there is a lot of history around here, a lot of Portuguese, Portuguese influence. So I'm quickly grabbing a bite to eat, which was a little bit hard to <laughs> do because one, their menu is huge, so too many options, and two, um, the English language was a little bit hard to. Um, it was a little bit hard to communicate, I won't lie, but it's okay because we got it figured out. I was like, just do what you gotta do with the plate, I won't change anything, I'm just gonna eat it as it is. So, I uh, did that, now I'm just gonna sit here, wait for the food to come, and then we're gonna be heading for... Actually, I'm not gonna tell you guys, let's just get the day rolling. <laughs> I have 
no words, but this is really good. It's a beetroot yogurt dressing, I think. Breadstick. Amazing. So good. We have some rice, shrimp, little salad on the side, and I forgot to mention these are charcoal breadsticks and a beetroot yogurt dip. Just amazing. P.S. That's where all their produce grows. Everything's so fresh. I love it. I truly thought that after India I could handle every single spice in the world, but this orange chili just proved me wrong because if it wasn't for that beetroot yogurt dip, I could have died. You guys, that thing is too spicy. If you ever come across an orange chili, do not eat it. It's really good. A little too spicy, but I'm still gonna eat it because this food is gonna make it work. So meal is over with, I'm feeling nice and full, got some work done and now it's time for my first ever bamboo tattoo, it's about to go down, got my man right over here, he's a bamboo man <laughs> and it's about to happen. historical area. Let's see what we can find in this beautiful city. saw used to be the governor's old house it's a huge mansion it is now a restaurant and I'm just appreciating how beautiful I mean the house is beautiful but the garden I guess I don't know just all the greenery they have here is stunning they have the hugest trees I'm sure you guys can see them behind me and the cutest little chickens I don't know if it's because it's a Saturday or if I'm just like in the wrong area but there's no one <laughs> in this area of town and I'm extremely happy because I get it all for my, to myself. It's so quiet after yesterday's little island getaway that was super <laughs> packed. This is a really nice street and this 
right here is a really nice treat as well. It's like the juiciest star fruit, I think. Mmm, I don't know if you hear that. So good. This place is beautiful. the more that I realized that this vlog is literally just gonna be buildings upon buildings upon buildings but I can't stop recording them because they're so beautiful so I just gotta share them with you guys but right now I'm walking to the Shrine of Light I believe it's called Shrine of the Serene Light and there's also um, amulet markets so we're gonna be heading there right now and then I need to grab some food I need to probably start heading back towards the tattoo place because they're probably wondering where I am because I have my bag and um, I guess heading to the airport but I'm definitely really happy that I decided to catch this super late flight which is like 11.30 p.m. because it gave me the full day here in Phuket to actually like venture around you know get my bamboo tattoo because I've been saying that I want one forever so definitely wasn't planned that I was going to be doing this I just planned my day this morning <laughs> the tattoo was also planned this morning I also picked it out this morning so that's kind of how I go about life you know I follow my intuition follow what I feel feels right and normally it ends up being right so that's it Just when you think it can't get better, I see my most favorite car in the world. Wait for it. It's so beautiful. This place is just stunning, by the way. I'm like mesmerized because I never really thought to find something like this in Thailand. But I'm happy I did because it's beautiful. This is my favorite car. It's a Volkswagen van. Yes. Yes. Pretty sure that shrine was closed because, well, the gate was closed. But it's okay, it was beautiful from the outside. Now I'm gonna go hunt for my last meal here in Thailand. Let's see what I end up getting. You guys could have probably already guessed this. My last meal in Thailand is gonna be some curry because I just I just love my curry. So we got some cream curry over here, some tofu vegetables, of course, can't forget the rice. And this is supposed to be like one of the best restaurants on the strip. This one along with the one beside it, but that one was a little bit more crowded, so I figured, you know, what about seclusion? So I'm here in the quietness and I'm super excited to join, to not join, to enjoy my last meal in Thailand. Let's do it. Say that this is probably the best curry that I've had in Thailand. It's really smooth, it has cashews in there, it has a nice hint of sweetness, spicy, variety of vegetables. It's just perfect, it's amazing. 160 baht later, and a super, super happy tummy. I think I'm done with Thailand for now. For now. Thank you so much.